So last night, um, we were sitting in the living room and we um, were playing cards and we couldn't hear ourselves talk because of the noise. There was so much noise coming from outside, so much noise coming from the back alley. And we actually had to close the, the door because the door was open for fresh air because it was too noisy. And we were kind of annoyed because we're like, what the heck? Like people are outside yelling? And you know, the noise of children playing and yelling outside and how you think that somebody's getting murdered, but they're just happy, right? So all of a sudden we're kind of a bit of upset because we're we're playing cards and and we can't even talk to each other because of the noise and we're feeling annoyed that we have to close the door and we don't have the fresh air. And all of a sudden I'm thinking, what's wrong with us? This is beautiful. Children are playing outside. It never happened. We've lived here for 10 years. And, and, and then we started talking about it. And I thought, oh my gosh, kids are playing outside. Th like when's the last time children were playing outside? Never. It took a pandemic for this to happen. So instead of feeling annoyed, all of a sudden we started to, to feel grateful. And when I used to be a kid, after dinner, my parents would kick us out of the house and we had to go play outside until the bell would ring. So my mom would play, well, you ring a bell when it was time to come back in. And we would spend the whole evening outside with all the friends from, from our neighborhood. And that's what's happening right now. And then my husband said, well, you know, it's because we have uh, new neighbors on this side. And then on the corner there, there's another new neighbors and now they have kids. So that's why it's happening now. And then I thought, who was there before? Well, they had kids too. And even the people before them had kids as well. They were just not playing together. They were just not speaking. Nobody was speaking. There was just, we were neighbors, but it was an individual world. Everybody was doing their own things. And kids were just spending time maybe playing video games inside. And now every time I look down at our back alley, there's, there's Chuck drawing on the, on the asphalt. And there's, there's toys. There's, you should see their setup. Like they have these little bikes going. They do these, these slaloming thing. It, it's so much fun. So now when I'm like, we ended up reopening the door and letting the fresh air in and letting the children's laughs in. And it's a big reframe for us because this, this annoying noise that, that we had, we put another label on it. And we thought when we hear this, instead of triggering feeling annoyed and sending 1400 negative chemicals to our body to pollute us. Now this children's laugh, super strident and super annoying um, is turning into, oh, kids are playing, this is nice. And all of a sudden they sounded a little bit more muffled because the, the emotion that it generated was a good one. And all of a sudden I was able to continue to play cards with my husband. And somehow I was not paying so much attention because I chose for this not to annoy me anymore, but to make me feel good that, that the pandemic has done a huge change. All the kids in, in our little corner here are all playing together. And, and it is a good thing. So what is it in your life that you have that is could be a pet peeve or something that used to annoy you that you want to give another label to? When somebody cuts you off on the highway and you're like, oh, jerk, rah, 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 and you start being uh, feeling negative about it, is there a way that you could pretend that 
maybe their wife is pregnant and they're taking her to the hospital and they're going to have twins, then that will make you feel better. So what can you use in your life right now and do a reframe like we did last night that would start to make you feel better?